What's going on guys? It's Simon from SG. Today we're going to learn how to set up a PayPal sandbox account for PayPal standard. So if you're on WooCommerce you may notice that overall it's just a little bit harder to create a sandbox account especially with you know if you have PayPal standard and you were you know looking at another tutorial and someone's like PayPal checkout um, PayPal Express checkout there seems like there's so many products with PayPal sometimes it can get more confusing than it is and then we never set up a sandbox account for PayPal and then you know when we test or when we do live transactions when we launch a site we uh, you know realize that something maybe may not be set up correctly in PayPal um, and just overall causes more confusion than it needs to be so let's learn how to set up a PayPal sandbox account for PayPal standard and with that I'm just going to go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to go to WooCommerce and I'm going to click settings. Next I'm going to click payments and if I click in the manage on PayPal you'll notice that this enable sandbox check mark. So if I go back and I if I go down here to live I have my live stuff but if I click enable sandbox I don't have a sandbox username, password, API signature. So I need to go grab that from after creating a PayPal developer account. So you click this, sign up for PayPal developer account, open this in a new tab. I'm just gonna log in. Sweet. So on the PayPal developer dashboard, I'm just gonna click under the sandbox menu click accounts and then sandbox test accounts I'm gonna click create account and I'm gonna create a business account first sweet so I created this business account and I'm gonna click view and edit the account Next, I'm going to click API credentials and I'm going to copy and paste the username, the password, and the signature into my WooCommerce settings. So here's the username, here's the password, here's the signature. Then I'm going to click save changes. Sweet. So now if I go to a product on my site, um, I created like a test product for $1 just to mess around with this. So let's go. Just add this to the cart. I'm just going to take this off. Sweet. And what if I proceed to checkout now with this PayPal test account? sandbox is enabled okay so I have my business account for my PayPal sandbox set up but before I enter in any like payment details um, let's go and create like a personal account too so this is just like to simulate a, uh, like a buyer so I created this personal account example I'm going to view and edit this user so I can use like John Doe, um, you know, this email and then this password. So, you know, if I go back to, uh, I'm just going to open this in an incognito window for example, for uh, a second. And if I go back to my site, if I go to the checkout, <laughs> And I'm just gonna make up uh, where they what did PayPal say this? They have John Doe, and this is the email. And this is the password. Let's grab this first. Okay, so we go John Doe. I'm just gonna make up you know address you know 520 South Riverview Road. Okay, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, put in the email. I'm going to go proceed to PayPal. Awesome. So make sure this lines up. They got that. Put in the password. 
And you notice when I click it, it goes to sandbox.paypal.com, not paypal.com. That's how I know my sandbox is working. I'm gonna log in. Sweet, so now this is a Sandbox account. PayPal is giving me a few different options. Um, you know, obviously I don't have a credit union, but they, they do a good job of having like options preloaded. So I'm just gonna pay with, you know, my fake visa. And if I pay for this, sweet. And now I'm gonna, you know, go back to the merchant, go to the order receipt page. And awesome, if I go to um, back to my WooCommerce settings and I click orders, I'm actually seeing, uh, you know, John Doe from, you know, the, the Sandbox account created the order. So, you know, to review, create both uh, a personal and a business account at developer.paypal. So when you get to developer at paypal.com, if you don't have a developer PayPal account, create one. I usually use the same email address as my primary PayPal account. And after signing up, click under sandbox, click accounts. This is bugging. <laughs> uh, and then I can, you know, view edit the account to get the API credentials that are gonna go in the WooCommerce settings at the bottom of the payments tab. PayPal Sandbox is enabled and I have the Sandbox API username, password and signature. And just so you guys might need a easier visual to see Go to two tabs on this. So you can see that this lines up with this and then the password and signature. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and see you next time.